capitalism, socialism, you. communism, Sound prior to the 1917 revolution, life was hard for the citizens of Russia. The people of Russia were unsatisfied with their lives because available farming land was so scarce that family members were leaving to find more work in other villages. Many lack basic necessities that people need in their lives, such as food and water, and there is widespread starvation and thirst. Close to all members of the Russian peasant class were illiterate and very uneducated. Lastly, wealthy landowners were making lots of money off of work that the peasants did for them. It sounds like they need a new government system, and quick. But what type of government system shall we choose? We have three options. Socialism, capitalism, or communism. The gap between rich and poor in a capitalist government is very large. In pure capitalism, poor people die off and only the rich survive. But in Russia, the majority of the population was poor and the wealthy class was very small. So if Russia's lower class was to die off, Russia would lose the majority of their citizens. Also in a capitalist government, landowners make lots of money off of work that peasants do for them for little to no wage. The peasant class of Russia, prior to the revolution, was mostly made up of farmers and factory workers who worked for wealthy people, so capitalist government would in no way help them financially. In a socialist government, the goal is to have economic equality. In a socialist government, wealthy people are taxed more than poor people, and that tax money goes to funding th uh, things such as schoolings and education, but we know that the majority of Russia's population was illiterate and did not go to school. So investing money in schools that no one would attend would be super pointless. We decided that the Russian people needed a communist government. A communist government would improve their way of life for Russian people because it would provide equal amount of food, water, and basic necessities for everyone. In a communist government, citizens are given jobs that don't require education and many include jobs in agriculture. This is good because many of the Russian peasants were already experienced in farming and were pretty dumb. Soldier boy, tough. Hey, I got the 